Hello, and I'm going to be teaching you how to solve a 3 times 3 Rubik's Cube. So, first, we'll start on these three pieces. If you see these three pieces, when you mix these up, these pieces are never going to move. They will always stay in the same place. So, we'll start with a color. I'll start with the color red. So, then I'll find the three pieces over here that are red. So far I got two over here, but there are none on top. The red piece is on the bottom over here, and I need to get all of these things, all of these three pieces into one side. Now, I'll just keep on trying until I get all of them in one side and look like they're all in one side now. Then I'll adjust the tip so they match the same color. Then you also have to make sure for each color they both have all the three pieces. Now we'll start on solving the, the yellow side. So first I'll start with the blue. The blue piece is over, the blue piece of the yellow is over here. So we have to take this out without ruining anything. So how do we do that? You, can, you have two ways. You can either use your right hand, which is this, right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right and then you got that piece out without ruining any of these the tips or these three pieces the blue piece is now over here and we're gonna go back to the blue side so you see the blue piece is way back over here and the blue side is over here this is exactly what we wanted we do not want it here next to the sides so if the yellow piece is on the right we're going to do the right hand ag algorithm I showed you earlier. Right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the right. You see, it will be the blue piece is now inserted in here. Look like the green is already sold for us, so we have to go to red now. Red, it is stuck in here. So I could either go, I, I either have two ways to solve this. I could either use my right hand or left hand. I'll show you the left hand. So left hand, when you use your left hand, you're going to move the left to the top, move the top to the right, move the left side down, move the top to the right. See, then the piece is out of here, but we want it in the back over here. So in order to do that, we'll do the left hand algorithm since it's on the, stuck on the left. See, now it's on the back. And it's facing the right, not the left, so you have to do the right-hand algorithm. If it's facing the left, you'll do the left hand. Sometimes when you finish this, the cube will automatically solve. Sometimes when you finish it, one of these three pieces will go in place. Like, example, let's say this blue and red is over here sold, and you only got two more pieces to do. Okay, that means you finish your step. But sometimes you'll have three if you have three, you can use this algorithm. This algorithm is also used for the three times three Rubik's cube. So if you know how to solve a three times three, this will be easier for you. You move the left, right side up, top to the left, right side down, top to the left, right side up, top to the left again, and then move it down. This could take. You could do this one or two times, and then one of the pieces, and then the one. And one of the pieces will go in place, or all of them will go in place, and it will automatically solve. Now I have two pieces. They need to be, they need, th these pieces need to be switched around. So, in order to do that, I'll use this algorithm. Right side down, left side down, right side up, left side up, top to the left, left side up, top to the right, left side down. There you go. You have solved the Pyramid's cube. 